let me give you a brief overview of the Firebase Firestore database. Firebase Firestore database is a flexible, scalable, no SQL cloud database. It is developed by Google as part of the Firebase platform and it allows developers to easily store, synchronize, and query data for their web and mobile apps. Firebase supports real-time updates, offline access, and automatic scaling, and, with and a very powerful querying capabilities. It also allows features such as document and field-level security rules, data validation, and integration with other Firebase services. Firestore is commonly used for building real-time collaborative applications such as social media platforms, e-commerce apps, and gaming apps. Now, let's start our work and go directly to console.firebase.google.com to create our own Firebase database. So, I will open a browser. And in the browser, I will give the URL console.firebase.google.com. Here it is. I will add a new project. I can give it any name. I will give it a name phone directory. Continue. Uh, just for simplicity, you click on the continue. Now, it requires to configure a Google Analytics account. You can use the existing account or you can create a new account. You can give it any name, my account, for example. Save it. And then the analytics location, I select United States. I accept the Google Analytics terms. Create project. It is creating project, provisioning resources for the phone directory project. So here it is, your new project is ready. <coughs> now here is our project, phone directory project. Now the next thing I will do is I will build uh, my Firestore database. So I will select from the build option, then Firestore database. Because I will store my contacts in the Firebase uh, database. Click on this. These are some uh, security rules. Uh, you can select the default, click the next, and then uh, you can you can select the cloud fire store location you can select any location let me select the default location and enable it <clears throat> so here we have a blank database fire store database we have nothing inside it so the first thing that we need to do is to create a collection. Firestore database is a collection is a collection of collections. So let me start the collection. I will I will start a collection over here, and I will say for example the connection collection name is contacts. So once you create the collection, you need to add documents to the collection. Uh, the collection is not created because I, I selected cancel. So I will again add the collection as context and click on the next. Now the next thing is the collection ID. You can give it ID yourself or you can auto generate the ID. Now the, here you mention the fields and add the fields you want in your document. So the first uh, uh, field that I will add is name. For example, I will say Heather Lee. I will add another field and that is the cell number or contact number. That is 
Hmm. Then is the field that is the category. For example, I will say the category is say for example developer or engineer or anything else. Then I will add the location. Location is for example Mecca. You can add also an email abc at xyz dot com and you can add as many fields as you want so category i have added these and then i will add position position is for example at quarter so with this when I click on the save button I created a single document inside this collection let me add another document by the same method I will say add document I will auto generate the ID I will say the name is Muhammad for example then the category as engineer then position site in the near at Makkah then location again I will say Makkah and then cell number Plus nine two three two one. Now let me save it. Now I have two documents in this uh, collection. The collection name is context, and I have two documents in it. There is no email in this, so I can add email. And I say, for example, Muhammad at gmail.com. Let me check for other fields. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fields. And over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fields. So we have two documents in this collection. Uh, we can add as many documents as we want, or we can start another collection inside this collection. So over here, it is actually it is a hierarchical structure of this no sql database in which you can create uh, sub collections as well over here so with this we have uh, finished uh, writing uh, creating our firestore database now the next step is to how to integrate this firebase firestore database in our flutter application how we will be able to retrieve to read this data from this particular collection into our flutter application so stay connected i will tell you how to do this thank you very much